I'm Rita with Backyard Mountain Inspirations, and I'm here today from a Maker Studio. Thank you, Maker Studio, for letting me uh, take up some time on your Facebook page this afternoon. To, and I'm here to show you a craft. Uh, this is my first time doing this, so I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll get through it and hopefully you'll enjoy the craft. So we're going to make a wreath from this galvanized metal tray. Uh, I will tell you that um, they put a film over the tray, so we have to, you know, take that film out. I washed it in warm soapy water. Um, I did put some um, alcohol on it, uh, acetone on it, because I wanna make sure that the stencil is sticking to this. Um, I will be putting the products that I'm using uh, on my webpage or on my Facebook page. Um, so we are going to use the stencil from Thankful, Grateful, and Blessed. And these are the mesh stencils, coming out with new ones all the time. But these are the best stencils. They show such detail um, that you will just love them. So I'm going to center this in the middle here. And I wanna make sure that I have it all pushed down. I wanna make sure that it's flat on here. I don't have any air bubbles in here at all. So that I get a nice crisp detail. And I wanna make sure that I have it centered on here as well. Now, uh, I am going to use the um, gel art ink that we have, and I am going to use a couple of different colors. This is going to be a fall wreath, so I'm going to use some fall colors. Um, have it, little paper plate I'm going to put. I'm going to use um, red and yellow. So I'm going to make an orange, a nice fall color and mix them. That's the fun thing about these. You can mix any colors that you have here. <clears throat> okay, so, let me use my little paddle here. These, this is the applicator tool. You need one of these. They're a little bit flimsy, let you, uh, apply this in a very thin, precise, you can trim them down if you need something bigger than that. Now I'm going to make sure that I have enough um, of my paints mixed up. I'm not doing a bright, bright orange. I want to do kind of a, a rusty brown orange, but I want to try to have as much ink as I can to cover both of the areas that I want on here so I don't have to mix that up again. So I'm gonna use more yellow than orange. Remember when we had to mix colors when we were at school? May put just a little bit more red in here. I'm even thinking about maybe adding a touch of brown. Actually, the brown is called Will I Swanee. I'm gonna put it off to the side just in case I just need a little bit of it. <clears throat> So I'm mixing it up right here on my plate. I am gonna just bring a tad of brown in there, just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna start on the thankful, and I am just gonna add my ink. I did cut my applicator down because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too wide. 
so that I would head off into another area that I didn't need to be in. Now, if you do, you can wipe it off All right, so I have, and I want to make sure that I have that thankful pretty covered here. Pick up some more of this orange. And I'm going to do the blessed as well. I don't know if you can see. We are building a new house and we are right across the street where we're building, uh, right directly across the driveway. And since I've lived here, I've always called the mountains across the road my mountains. And uh, well, they're gonna be my mountains. So that's why, that's why I named my Facebook page, Backyard Mountain Inspirations. So I have my orange on here. If I want to uh, go with another little applicator tool, I can. Um, the next area that I'm gonna do is the leaves on here. I want I want them brown. Like I said, I'm going with a with a fall. So this is the Will I Swanee. Uh, the yellow. Uh, is called Over Yonder. The red is Bless His Heart. Don't you love the names? I do. All right, so I'm gonna use this small applicator and a, a different one. And I'm gonna come in here and this is where I'm gonna do the leaves. And you know, if you get a little bit on here from the orange, it's okay. Because it's all just gonna kind of blend. You wanna make sure that you have all of the mesh stencil covered. See a little area here that isn't on that the little leaf. So we just want to make sure all of it's covered. A little goes a long way too, so you don't have to use very much of the inks. Pick up some more of this well I swanny brown and come here and do the other. little spray of leaves. You can basically, now these are the art inks, and then we also have this the ceramic paints, and they are so much fun to work with too. If you've never worked with those, just definitely try them. Uh, ceramic paints, uh, they are food safe, so you can actually uh, put them on some cooking plates and, uh, you know, or serving plates and you don't have to worry about it because they are food safe. But these are the gel inks and I'm just about got everything covered here. I want to go over again, make smooth everything out. And then the last one, I'm going to use red. And this is bless his heart. I've got my, I've got my orange, I've got my uh, brown on there, and I'm going to fill in the middle, grateful, 
the word with red. I have always crafted and enjoyed crafts for as long as I can remember. So it's so nice to be able to have some good, good and excellent uh, materials and supplies to work with that I know are going to work for me. And there are many. I'll put a link to the website up there too so you can you can see there's different tutorials on a lot of different things. So check them out. Still working on the red. Just going back, making sure that I have everything covered. Okay, here we go. Um, I have a bowl of water standing by that I can put the stencil in. So I am going to take the corner here and lift and pull it down. And see how pretty that turned out. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so I'm gonna put this in the water. It can sit there for a little while until I get ready to uh, clean them off because they are reusable. Just remember, they are reusable. You might get a little bit of ink stain on them and don't worry about it. If you're rinsing off your stencils, I suggest you, you would rinse it in some cool water so that it doesn't heat set on there. It's okay if it does. As long as that mesh is clean where you're going to get the detail, that's what we need. So there's a little bit of a mark right here that I want to pick up because I don't want that. But other than that, Another one went over here. That's where I went off the stencil just a little bit. And there it is. So this needs to dry. <clears throat> you could hit it with your blow dryer if you'd like to. Um, but we're gonna move on. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, but that is basically going to be my sayings that I have here. Um, I'm going to put one more thing on the bottom of it. I'm going to use probably, I want to think a br the brown with it as well. Uh, so I'll have to add a little bit more. So I want to make sure that I have my tray straight. And then I'm going to put this down. Now the first stencil I used was from um, the set Thankful, Grateful, and Blessed. This one here is from the set Bon Appetit. So, interchange your stencils, make them versatile. Organize and store them so that you can use them. Uh, you can find them, you know the names of them and all of that. So here's that while I swanny again. And I'll take my little palette here. Might need just a little bit more brown out here, but I got this little uh, galvanized tray from over at Hobby Lobby. Um, very reasonable. Okay. 
almost through here. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and lift this. Isn't that pretty? I'm so excited. So pretty. Okay, so what I did is I, you know, you could put a bow on here, whatever I found. It was actually a, a wreath, and I kind of just took it apart and got the things that I wanted to on there. And I'm just going to hot glue this wreath on the top. Uh, I'm sorry, the little uh, strand on the top. And uh, using my hot glue gun. Now, I will tell you that you might want to go back with it. I wanted to have this so it would um, hold down and it'd be able to lift it up. But you may want to go back and use some like E6000 on it or something like that afterwards. But I'm going to hold here for just a couple more seconds. And then I'm going to glue a bow on. I did make the bow um, very easy. There's tutorials on that on, on YouTube and every every different place like that. You probably have your own little method and how you want to do that. I'm going to add some more hot glue. Now, if you're going to keep this outside, you're going to definitely need some E6000 on it because with the heat, it probably won't hold up. I'm going to put a clamp on that, but isn't that cute? Uh, one thing that I did was I took um, part of the bow that I had left over and I made little leaf shaped things and then I just kind of hot glued them like right in the center so that I thought I would tie this bow, um, Tie this into where the bow is so you can see. So I'm just going to add some hot glue here. And just probably put six, maybe three on each side just to uh, to show. I, also, I actually, I don't even know if you can see this, but I took one of the little beads and snipped it off and put it in there as well. So probably won't have time to show it to you, all of it to you. Like I said, go in there and secure it. If you need to change your bow and if you want to kind of tack that down, uh, you can do that with your hot glue. And I will finish up the other sides with the little uh, little leaf type things that I have. Now you can put a hanger on the back of it if you want to, or if you want to just set it on, on the table somewhere, you can do that as well. So there you go. A quick little craft. And I... Wanted to show you my baby. She said she wanted to come and see you today. So this is Bella. Say hi, Bella. Anyway, thank you. I really appreciate your time. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, please uh, go to the Facebook page uh, and write your questions out. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, visit my web page or my Facebook page, Backyard Mountain Inspirations, and I will see you again soon one day. Thank you.